A deadly flood almost left them homeless, but now neighbors in Waverly say their landlord is forcing them out anyway. And last year, we told you about how tenants at Briarwood Apartments were given an ultimatum. They were told either sign a new agreement that says management won't be responsible for damages from their repairs or you move out. Our investigative reporter Levi Ismail has covered this since it was first brought to our attention. Levi, the big question, where does this leave those folks who chose not to sign this? You know, this leaves many of those folks in an almost impossible position of finding someplace else to live that's still affordable, all because they stood up for themselves when the landlord changed the rules. We had a feeling that at some point we would probably end up here. All right, Mr. Um Daniel, are you ready on, on the Briarwood cases, sir? Yes, Your Honor. Humphreys County Eviction Court, a place Leah Skelton worked hard to avoid after what she and this community have been through. But at least now she can explain how, despite all of this, she still made rent. And I paid it every month. They just put it back on my door in these envelopes. Skelton said her landlord at Briarwood Apartments in Waverly not only turned down rent for months. Then she came and she served me with paper saying that they no longer wanted to renew my lease, but you already gave me a lease. A lease that was signed January 12th, 2022. Property Local management. attorney Scott Daniel acknowledged he was only a stand-in for Briarwood's legal team when they were a no-show, but he never really had to say much at all. The decision to evict had already been made long before anyone said anything. Uh, this today is just to have you, uh, let you know that you're gonna have to move. Okay. Now I'm just like, where are we going to live? It's hard enough finding a place she can afford, but now this single mother of two has to explain an eviction on her record for non-payment of rent. A small town like this, it's hard to find somewhere to rent if they're saying you don't pay your rent. Skelton has in her hands every cashier's check for the rent Briarwood says she refused to pay. She also has the one document. This is the release agreement that we refuse to sign. That she believes is the real reason she's being kicked out. First, I got the release agreement. About a month later, I got the new lease. And then uh, about a, a month later, I got the moving paper. So I, I got kind of hit with all three of them at one time. All this after one of the deadliest floods in Tennessee history. I mean, that's how high, that's how fast it was coming in. Nearly washed everything away. I've still got tons of stuff in storage. A lot of people have, and I don't know how I'm going to pay for all that. Much less pay for a new place if Chris also chose not to sign this agreement. Halfway homeless. Neighbors I mean, told us last year that they were given two options but... after the flood either sign or leave, even if you already had an active lease. The new agreement says you can't hold Briarwood Apartments or their parent company, Greer Management, accountable for any future health problems from their flood repairs. Do you remember a letter like that? I mean, No, usually I've, those things I just sign anyway because I'm so scared of life. It's one thing if repairs were done on time and without issue, but Skelton says it took months just to get walls replaced. Even now, she says the job doesn't appear finished and that's a risk she won't take. But that doesn't seem to matter because when you own a property, you can give a sign lease and then the next week say move out. We tried to ask the landlord why she was turning down rent and instead she sent maintenance. So what she said? She, she prefers for y'all to leave the property. That's about as much as we got from Greer Management before the landlord called the cops. As for Alabama Representative Lynn Greer, who is still heavily involved with his family's business, he hasn't returned our calls. It sounds like what we're trying to do is ask the tenants to give up rights. Attorney Zach Oswald from the Legal Aid Society says this wouldn't be much of a problem if both sides gave up something in return. But that's not what we see here. The release is only taking things away from tenants. It's not giving them anything, which means that that modification to the lease agreement that existed is going to be null and void. So even if you did sign the agreement, it likely won't hold up in court. Still, there are very few laws on the books that say what landlord and tenant rights are for a county this small. We have the Tennessee Uniform Residential Landlord Tenant Act, which says you can leave at any point and get any prepaid money back if your rented home is unlivable. But that only applies to counties of at least 75,000 people based on the 2010 census. Humphreys County has less than 20,000. The decision's ultimately going to be made by the judge, and the way that tenants have to go if they represent themselves in court is really by being able to tell their story. Oswald says at least that's how it's supposed to be. 
So it was more than a little confusing when he heard Judge Haley Bradley Maples say this. What we're going to do is, is we're going to um, come back and we're going to talk about what if anything's owed. The judge set another court date for August to hear Skelton's evidence, well past the 40-day deadline she's been given to move out. Well, when you move out, leave it in real good shape. Meaning no matter what Skelton had to share, she would always end up in the same place, without a home and with very few options. They're always right. Like, they're always going to be right. The, you're just you're just a tenant and you know and so basically she they could come back in uh, August say Leah I know you tried to come and pay and she ran from you but you owe us back all this thousands of dollars now Skelton did end up finding a new home just last week but did end up having to pay for the move Rory and Vicki she's now working with the legal aid society so that they can reopen the eviction case and hopefully get this eviction off of her record Wow. It's so frustrating. What about Levi expanding some of the landlord tenant rights that you talked about? You know, right now, places like Putnam County and Green County both qualify because of their population right. size. But the problem is lawmakers would actually have to go in and expand this program to some of these areas because right now they're only using data from the 2010 census. All right. Thanks, Levi.